안녕하세요. 제 이름은 나미입니다. Hi, it's Nami, and today I'm doing a, a video that's a little bit different. I am going to unbox an electronic package for Superstar BTS. I think this is my first Superstar BTS based video other than gameplay videos on Instagram. And currently, Dalcom Soft, the makers of Superstar BTS and Superstar SM, JYP, etc., they are doing a premium card pack bonus. For 30 premium card packs, you get an additional free S card and a free R card. And we'll talk a little bit about the pros and cons of this pack. If it's worth it, if you're starting from scratch, it would be around $70 to purchase this pack. Dude, these, these are snakes, snakes. It's really a hit or miss. You don't know which cards you're gonna get. You don't know if you're gonna get a good card. If you get a good card, if it's gonna be the card that you need for the theme or the card that you need for the top albums that you have for your league. I currently have 341 diamonds saved up. I'm gonna try and purchase the 100 diamond pack if I get two packs for $27. Time for the big reveal. I'm gonna buy this premium 30 package with an R and S card and hope that they will actually be useful cards to me because um, I think the system knows which cards you have and they give you useless cards because you already have the same cards. Let's do this. <sighs> I'm getting excited. Okay. First 20 cards. All Bs so far. Not bad. <gasps> oh my gosh! <gasps> I got an R card and an S card in this 20 pack already. So, let's open the A's first. Let's open the rest. Not bad. Okay, let's open the R card. <laughs> Do I need him? I feel like I need him. Oh my gosh. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Very nice. We'll take a look at my inventory after. Next 10. So far, it's pretty decent. Okay, these we just get two A's, and then the rest are B's. Time for the final S and R cards. Let's start with the S card. Oh, for DNA. I don't have an S card yet in the DNA album. I wish though that they would give me good cards for my top albums, but you know. Nice. Oh, so nice. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied. I didn't feel ripped off. Last time I purchased diamonds during a diamond event, I felt so ripped off because the cards were just not good. How many times can you buy this? Oh my gosh, I think you can buy this an unlimited amount of times. So the thing I don't like about this game is they make it play to win. So all of the top players purchase some sort of purchase to get up there. I honestly don't think you can get in the top leagues without paying a little bit here and there or just your whole life is Superstar BTS and you spend like three hours a day playing. So that's the only thing, like I wish they made it kind of skill based too in terms of like how many S perfects you get or something like that, like a different ranking like that. But obviously this is Korea so it's all about number rankings. Let's look at my inventory. Oh my gosh, my R card! Okay, let's see where this R card belongs. Ah, it's, this is not one of my top albums. I'm kind of disappointed. Let's equip it anyway. Where's this one belong? Too cool for school. Let's see what I have so far. I feel like I already have a different S card. Okay, but this one is a prism card. It's good. I have an R card for V in the same album. Oh my gosh, this is my top album. The Too Cool For School album. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. <gasps> I'm so happy because I got two of them in my top album. And then my V card. Oh, it's not the same theme. V is going to mess up my theme. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm so happy about this album though. 
This is nice. I think this is my second best album. And then I have School Love Affair in one of my top five as well. And Fire is one of my top league songs. And so is Spring Day from You Never Walk Alone. But I really think it's a hit or miss in terms of these packages and um, purchases, I guess. I would really recommend waiting if you wanted to purchase, waiting until there's actually an event in which they have a sale or they have a special promotion going on because honestly, Buying the card packs or buying any points or diamonds or anything without a sale I think it's not worth it. They are electronic pixels that you do buy They don't really add that much value to your life except that joy that you have playing and enjoying the music as you do play the rhythm game But really purchasing anything through this app is really a gamble Like I've had a time when I purchased a lot of diamonds and I didn't get that many good cards even though I bought a whole bunch of card packs and some of the premium card packs were only full of A's and B's so honestly it is a gamble and when you do get an S or an R card you don't know if it's gonna be the theme that you need or the artist that you need or if you'll end up with repeat S's with a different theme that you just end up not needing that card so I think these card packs are only worth it if you have a lot of points to begin with that you've accumulated and saved up to this point so that you don't have to spend that $70, what is it, 70 or 80 Something ridiculous, right? Like, first of all, it's a gamble. Second of all, it's pixels. Third of all, it's expensive. So unless you have already saved up points or unless there's a special promotion going on, I wouldn't say that it's worth it. But if you do buy into it while there's a promotion and you have things saved up like that's how I reasoned myself to purchase this pack I mean instead of spending $80 I spent 27 it could be worth it because it'll give you those cards to equip you to get more score points and when you have those score points then you can you know spend less time playing the game take it lax a bit because you don't have to get every single note right you know the cards will do the work for you and they're just pretty to look at the art cards when you're playing that rainbow bar oh. But I mean, it's nice to treat yourself every now and then, but it really is a gamble. So this time I feel like I got lucky, probably because they ripped me off last time and I ended up with packs with just A's and B's. But those cards can be a value as well because you can use those cards to sacrifice into upgrading a different card. So those are my thoughts on if this card pack would be worth it. It really depends on your circumstance. It really depends on how much you have saved up or not saved up in the game. And it really is a chance thing when it comes down to it. If you don't understand Superstar BTS jargon, I hope that the little notes here had been helpful to you. I'm thinking of doing more Superstar BTS videos here and there. Um, not that often, but I would definitely like to hear some of your ideas. I've heard some great requests or suggestions on Instagram, so I'd like to hear what you think as well. Let me know down below what types of videos specifically you'd like to see based on this game. So hope you enjoyed. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that bell notification for more great content. Bye! Actually, I should wave like this. Bye! <laughs> Today's feature comment is from Jungkook 여자친구 Jung Hali. Sometimes I think you are 19 to 20 and then I remember you have two kids and a husband. Thanks for your comment, Hali. You're not wrong. Um, April 2018, I'm actually 23. So you're pretty close. You will see all of our birth years in the description of all our videos and also in our about page on our channel. But to our MVP Nacho Fam who come across comments asking about our age, <laughs> you got me, right? You got me. It's funny though. It makes sense because I look like I'm in my early 20s, which I am. <laughs> so you're not wrong. Hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next time. Bye!